Hi everyone, welcome to Pound Zero. My name is Amelia and this is my weight loss journey. So of course you probably would have noticed that I've been a bit absent over the last few weeks and there are so many reasons for that. Uh, the first one being that, you know, <laughs> it's so unusual but quite busy. Um, I've got small films, feature films, voiceover parts, all kind of happening all at once at the minute so I'm really getting a little overwhelmed as I'm trying to do that on top of my full-time job. And then on top of that I decided it would be a really good idea to undertake the, um, let me, I want to get the name right, um, the Empowered Body Challenge. The Empowered Body Challenge is a, hmm, how do I describe this? It is, it is a nutrition plan, it is an exercise plan, it is a mindset plan, all designed around the female structure, um, it, it has been quite challenging in many respects, but really quite easy in others. Like he just makes uh, meal planning and uh, meal prepping like just so simple. I'm not sure why I avoided this <laughs> so much. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Um, but just showing the ease of how things can happen. And it's all geared towards the female system because, of course, females lose weight and maintain weight very differently to men. So this is a female only program. I will put a link down in the description below if you're interested in going to have a look at the website and all that jazz, but I have thoroughly been enjoying it. Such, such good times. Uh, what else has happened? Well, since I've been on that, I've been eating quite well. There have been, I have fallen off the wagon a couple of times. Um, Mostly this has been when I have either been on set, when you're on set, unless you're taking your own meals, which I learned very quickly, um, you, you kind of, you eat what you're given. There's usually not a lot of budget for the food, so it's not usually the best nutrition slash fat slash anything else. Um, like there was one night even just earlier this week, I was on set until almost midnight and what we had was literally packets of chips of various different flavours. We had expected to finish substantially earlier than that. Didn't happen. We were running so very far behind time. So of course I get home, I'm starving. I've eaten absolute rubbish or as little as I could, but still rubbish. Um, but of course you don't want to have a full meal before having a shower and just jumping into bed. So little things like that have been challenging, uh, along the way, but still thoroughly enjoying it. It is making me think a bit differently. It's very close to Kato, although it does introduce some carbs. Um, but that's, yeah, like it, not a substantial amount that I, I feel uncomfortable with or feel bloated from, which is also equally important. Um, but I, I undid quite a bit of work by having Indian on Thursday night. <laughs> really think about that. And then, of course, I had leftovers for lunch the next day. Um, but otherwise, I've been thoroughly enjoying it. And it has been forcing me to up the ante, both in my food and in my exercise. So that has actually been really beneficial for me. Especially since, and I didn't realize this... Um, when I, I initially spoke to the guy with who runs Empowered Body, but I, I had been down for quite some weeks, was not in a good place. Um, 
mentally or physically for, for a number of reasons. And I had gone backwards. I realized I had gone backwards. Like that was not unsurprising. What was surprising was how far backwards I had gone. So, um, I think I was hovering around the 102 kilo range when I, I did my last video and quite for a few weeks, like that was, that was my big plateau right there. Um, I went to Sydney for a week, um, and did a whole bunch of stuff. And I, I, th this was the first week of the challenge, but unfortunately I didn't have access to all the stuff that I would normally have at home, like scales and, uh, tape measures and all the rest of it. So I thought I was still probably around the 102 range. That was not the case. Um, I had gone much further backwards to, I was back up to 110 when I weighed myself. That was a nasty, nasty shock. Um, and I've been very working very hard to bring that back down ever since. <laughs> um, but uh, it, that shock came along with uh, the first week of this program, of which I did start in Sydney uh, to the best of my ability. It's really hard to do those things when you're traveling, but I was very conscious of what was happening and what I was eating. I walked as far as I could. Um, there was, I think there was one trip the entire week that I, I did by car just cause it was, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was way too far. <laughs> um, that is, it is what it is. And you just kind of got to pick up, accept that you made mistakes try not to make them again and move on. That's where we are at. So with that in mind, I am going to jump on the scales. There's so much I need to get through today. This is unbelievable. But all right. So just to recap, getting out my trusty trusty notebook um, that I've written stuff down in. So when I started my weight loss journey back in the beginning of 2017, I weighed in at 120 kilos or 264.5 pounds. When I started again at the beginning of this year, well, I started again, just checking in at the beginning of this year, I weighed in at 106.5 kilos or 234.5 pounds. My last weigh-in, I weighed in at 102.9 kilos or 226.8 pounds. This week, as I said, everything was undone. It has been quite some time since I've spoken to you guys. Um, I weighed in at 108.1, which had come down from one kilo above that. So I'm not going to do the plus and minuses because... That's just really depressing. <laughs> um, because this is my first video of the month, I also have my measurements ready to go. Yay! So, scrolling up the screen, and I'll run through this as quick as possible because it is so very, very long. So, my neck, um, January measured in at 41 centimeters or 16.1 inches. In August, it measured in at 38.5 centimeters or 15.1 inches. And in October, measured in at 40 centimeters or 15.7 inches. It's gone up, people. Let's face it and move on. My bust, my bust measured in January at 125 centimeters or 49.2 inches. That can't be right. 49.2 inches. Oh, well, maybe it could be. Here we are. Oh, people sending me messages over the top of what I'm trying to do. That's really not helpful. Oh, yeah, 49.2 inches. There you go. Um, my uh, In August, it was 119.5 centimeters or 47 inches. And in October, it was 119 centimeters or 46.8 inches. Must be the push-ups, just saying. 
My waist in January measured in at 117 centimetres or 46 inches. In August, it measured in at 106 centimetres or 41.7 inches. And in October, it measured in at 117.5 centimetres or 46.2 inches. Um, my hips in January measured in at 121.5 centimetres or 47.8 inches. In August, it was 112 centimetres or 44 inches. And in October, it was 122 or 48 inches. My thighs, measuring just the one and the biggest one, or the littlest one. My left one. It's always my left one. Uh, in January, it measured in at 69.6 centimetres or 27.3 inches. In August, it measured in at 66 centimetres or 25.9 inches. And in August, October, it measured in at 66 centimetres or 25.9 inches. So not a massive change there. My bicep. In January, it measured in at 35 centimetres or 13.7 inches. In August, it measured in at 33 centimetres or 12.9 inches and in October it measured in at 35.5 centimeters or 13.9 inches so not the push-ups I'm not sure what's going on there we'll just go with it and the BMI overall in January in by BMI was 32.5 in August was 30.2 and in October was 32.6 that's it. It is what it is. I've made mistakes. I fell off the wagon. I got depressed and ate a whole bunch of stuff that I shouldn't have. But I'm back now, ready and raring to go. What else is going on? Oh, today. Oh, everywhere. Everywhere. It is National Burpees Day. Because <gasps> everybody loves a good burpee. No. But... <laughs> in honor of being National Burpees Day, I present to you me attempting 15 burpees. I'm still sore. You know you work out. <laughs> you know you're really working out when you go for a drive and you, your thighs suddenly start, but just pushing the clutch in, just the clutch, and your thigh starts burning, and you're like, <laughs> "You're tired, aren't you?" Yeah, me too. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Good times. So. What else do I have to talk about? No, I think I'm going to leave that there for today because this will well and truly be long enough. So if you're new, welcome. <laughs> this is my vlog. Um, if you like what you've seen, don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out. Under the Next to the subscribe button, there should be a little bell. If you tap that, you'll get a notification when I do load up new videos, which is usually far more often than has been the last month. Hopefully my busy, busy life will slow down a little bit and I can actually concentrate on pumping these videos out once in a while. In honor of National Burpees Day, why don't you give it a go? Just five. If you've never done a burpee before, try and do five. You will fast realize why nobody likes them. Ever. And until next time, be healthy and be good to each other. Bye. So, of course, you now uh, may have noticed... Oh, wait, I'll try that again. That was... 
we had in <laughs> I'm gonna re-record this little bit and add it in later that's what I'm gonna do mm. so because this is my first video of the month of the munch <laughs> oh no for 35 centimeters or so th measured in hmm, I'll try that again <laughs>